Hello, everyone. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host for today, Tabitha Moretto. Our guest today is Sharon Stone. She has over 25 years of business experience when it comes to coaching across a wide range of industries and organizations. Today, we're going to talk about something very special. It's called Color Me Well, a personal tool and wellness calendar kit that she created to manage her own cancer treatment, and now it's been released for other cancer patients. Without further ado, welcome to the show, Sharon. It's very nice to have you here. Thanks, Tabitha. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Please tell the audience more about yourself and something about your background. Okay. Well, well, as you mentioned, I'm an executive and career coach with a lot of work experience. I suppose currently I'm working predominantly with not-for-profits and charities, and I work with them on things like um, leadership development, values and culture, team building, and then I do individual coaching with staff on um, personal development or leadership skills or whatever it is they need to take their performance to the next level. And I do this from a positive psychology viewpoint. So I have a, a qualification in positive psychology, which I think gives me some great tools to work with them with. Very fascinating. Now, tell us about Colour Me Well. At the beginning of last year, I was unexpectedly diagnosed with early stage breast cancer. I had no symptoms, I had no lumps, I had no illness and, and in fact I thought that I was just at the top of my game with everything and was really looking forward to the year. So um, I had a routine mammogram which picked it up and it was um, obviously a big shock to me and I, um, I must admit as well I was very angry about it because I followed all the protocols about diet, exercise, physical, emotional health, all those things and um, had no history of it in my family either. So it was kind of came like a bolt out of the blue. But I guess nobody's ever prepared for that. And I had successful surgery and then that had to be followed by a course of radiation, which I was really reluctant to do because I felt really well and I really felt very reluctant to do radiation when I didn't feel that there was anything wrong with me, if that makes sense. And so I did decide to embark on the radiation and, and I decided to mark off each day by drawing up a calendar so that I felt like I could see the progress and I felt like I was working towards the end of the treatment. And while I was drawing up the template, um, colour me well, the term just popped into my head and I put that at the top of the template. And so it seemed natural then to actually colour in each square to mark off each day rather than just to put a cross in the box to say, well, that's day one day two etc and then um, so the first day I had the treatment and then I came home and I coloured in to mark off that was the first day done and it seemed a bit plain so then I drew a heart in there and got some other pencils out and um, so forth and so I did this for a few days and, and there were some friends around and they saw it and they said to me that's really fantastic why don't you put it on Instagram and I said, oh, really? I think it's fairly childish, but it's kind of really good for me and it's helping me to get through it. But um, anyway, I listened to them and I did put it on Instagram and it really took off and it was just became a fantastic tool for family and friends to see how I was doing on my journey without having to keep asking me. And it just helped me each day to process everything that was happening and how I was feeling through the art of colouring in. And by the time I got to the end of my treatment, I recognised that this was something that could help others. And so the day after my treatment was finished, I registered the Colour Me Well business name and have now just launched the business. That's a wonderful story. That's a good thing that you posted it on Instagram. Yes. Can you tell us why is this relevant to health professionals? I think that there's research that says that there's a frustration with oncologists about the fact that there isn't a lot of emotional tools available for patients. So oncologists can help them deal with all the physical symptoms and what's happening with the illness. But when it comes to the emotional side of it, that's different. And um, Colour Me Well, I think, is filling the gap and, and it offers a lot of benefits. So first of all, it gives you mindfulness and reflection, which I think we all know these days um, how beneficial that is to wellbeing. Um, it gives a creative outlet so you can process how you're feeling without actually having to keep thinking about it or talking about it. 
And then I've created an Instagram community so people can share it with friends and family. And so, I mean, even if they have a private page. So rather than people keep having to ask, ask you all the time, oh, how's your treatment going? How do you feel? How long have you got to go? Which, of course, they're very interested, but it can become really tiresome. And so by just by looking at your posts, they can see all that information and they can cheer you on and it feels like you're all on the journey together. And then I guess the other thing is that all the research shows that the more involved a patient is with their treatment, the more positive the outcomes are and, and you know, the lessening of the side effects. And I certainly found that myself. And, and, you know, I came to this intuitively, I guess, and then I recognized the benefits by the time I'd finished. That's wonderful. It's a good thing to know that somebody like you has created this Color Me Well calendar kit, not only for yourself, but you have created this in order to help other people. Yes, yes, absolutely. And what my aim is, what I've started selling the calendar now, but I've also asked people to start sponsoring it. And so I've had a lot of very generous people sponsor the calendars, but my aim is to get it out to the corporate world and ask them to sponsor the calendars so that I can provide them to all the cancer centres around Australia and then after that beyond, you know, there's no, there's no reason it can't go international because I would like to, you know, give everybody the opportunity to have access to it and also 10% of profits will go back into cancer research. So it ticks a lot of boxes on a lot of different levels and, um, and I've also got ideas for, for other new products which I can add in as, as it starts to build and develop. Fantastic. So what other products do you have in mind? I currently have um, a funky little mug, which, which is, has a Colour Me Well logo on, which I have a young friend who's the most talented potter and just starting out in her business, and so she's been making those for me. Um, I'm thinking of on the calendars actually um, having the, on the back page of each calendar having some diaries or reflection pieces and some motivational pieces and one of the other things that I would like to add in is some healing cards. So you get little cards like a, say a business card size and you get you can either go to magazines and newspapers and cut out pictures and or, and or motivational quotes and you actually make up the cards for somebody or, or they make them up. And again, it's, it's kind of one of those creative outlets and you end up with something that you've made yourself. Excellent. Now, what is your main takeaway message to all of our listeners out there, especially those who are cancer patients? I think that, you know, the Colour Me Well benefits adult cancer patients. It benefits child cancer patients and families and especially children of cancer patients. So the benefits are that you can do it as a family. In fact, I think that there's, there's broader uses for this outside of cancer, but for the moment, I think as a family you can do it and I think it helps it helps you on your journey. It helps others to feel like they're on their journey with you. I had many people say to me who who didn't actually make any comments on my Instagram post, say to me at the end, I really felt I was on the journey with you and felt like I was cheering you on. And I could feel that. I think it's a positive way of having an outlet, an emotional and creative outlet at a time when you're dealing with something that quite devastating in your life. That was an excellent message. Thanks, Tabitha. Earlier you mentioned you have companies sponsoring the Color Me Well calendar kit. Now, for those who are interested in getting one, how can they do that? If they go to the Color Me Well website, colormewell.com.au, all the details are there, um, or they can call me directly. Can I give my phone number? Go ahead. So it's 0414-824444. Thank you so much, Sharon, for coming on the show. It was wonderful having you. Thank you so much, Tabitha. I appreciate your time. And that was Sharon Stone. We just have been talking about the amazing Color Me Well Wellness Calendar Kit she created in order for cancer patients to creatively journal their treatment experience. If you like this interview... Transcripts and archives are available at www.hpr.fm. We are on all social media platforms, so don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Show us some love by subscribing to our HPR YouTube channel. We're also available for download on SoundCloud and iTunes. 
I'm Tabitha Moretto, and you're listening to Health Professional Radio.